I have a setup here where I've configured uh, an LFO to modulate uh, the filter cutoff of a wavetable. And I can control how much the LFO affects the filter cutoff by adjusting this offset knob. Um, and this is really the only way that I can get any kind of manual control over the amount of this uh, filter cutoff because once you've mapped either a macro or a modulator like this to a parameter, you can no longer grab it with a knob. So if I try, I see a message in the status bar that said LFO is controlling this parameter. But it's common in these kinds of cases where I might manipulate the offset and find that I'm doing this in a kind of pattern. And what I realize that I'm doing is sort of applying a second slower LFO to this original one. So what if I wanted to manually, or uh, take care of this automatically instead of manually? Well, one thing I could do is set up another LFO to modulate the offset knob of this LFO. But what I really wanna do is just have more than one thing controlling this frequency knob. And there's a solution to this problem, which is pretty clever. And it's to use a device called CV Utility. So CV Utility is free for uh, live suite owners. And it's part of this pack called CV Tools, which is pitched as a set of Max for Live devices that are optimized for controlling um, modular hardware. And that's true, and it's awesome for that. And I use it for that when I'm working with hardware. But even when you're working entirely in the box, there's one particular device in this pack that's pretty remarkable and it's called CV Utility. And for, for our purposes here, we're not, going to use, um, we're not going to use the external CV routing at all. We'll just close that up. What CV Utility is, is a modulation mixer. So it has three controls here, which allow you to affect a single modulation signal. So you might see where this is going. If we want two LFOs, to modulate our parameter at the same time, we could duplicate this LFO, and instead of mapping it to the filter frequency, we'll map it to one of the value controls of the CV utility, and we'll map the other one to the other one. And now what we're doing is we're mixing between these two sources. So let's set the depth for both of these all the way to 100, leave the offsets at 100, and then we'll adjust the amounts here to control how much of the pattern we're working with. And let's change this to a sine wave. So if we listen to this now, this is our original signal again. Ah, sorry, I still need to map this to our target parameter. So we're hearing only the first LFO now. And now we're hearing only the second one. But now by adjusting these amount controls, we can blend the two. And what's nice is that the display here shows us the resulting modulation shape. We have the slow overall contour of our whole note version and the fast uh, downward sawtooth 16th note version superimposed. And if we want a little bit more sawtooth, uh, if we want a little bit more sawtooth and a little bit less sine, we can dial that in or the other way around. And what's really nice about this is we also have a third knob, which we could just grab. So if I want a lot of manual control and only a little bit of these modulation sources, I can simply grab this third knob or MIDI map it, for example, and I have control over this parameter manually as well. Another nice use case for this device is uh, to use something like an external envelope follower to modulate uh, the signal in a complex way. So what I have here is, let's turn our, let's turn our LFO all the way down. What I have here is a envelope follower that's tracking a a repeating drum pattern that I've set up to be sort of chaotic. Um, 
but kind of interesting rhythmically. What I'm going to do is map this now to the first knob. And I can dial in a little bit more or less of this control at the source as well. So I can tweak the parameters of the envelope follower and then go back to the original and maybe dial this down a bit and add a little bit of our slow LFO on top. Or maybe we want a broad, mostly noticeable the slow the slow sign with a little bit of glitch on the top of it. And again, we can just grab the knob. If we want a third level of control. And if we want additional options besides the ones that we already have, maybe we want to merge more than three sources, we could add another CV utility. And uh, map the sum of all of these to one value here and map the second one back to our target parameter. And now we have two more sources to work with. So we could map additional LFOs to these two controls, etc. And we could continue stacking these devices to add additional modulators to the modulation mix. So this is a look at this pretty clever little device called CV Utility, which, although it can be used to control external hardware, it also works great as an internal modulation mixer. Thank you.